Crimean Bulldogs. Happy Thursday. Um, today we are going to read a story called Otter in Space. And I know you guys know I love the kitty cats, but an otter is a close second. I think they are just adorable. So this book is called Otter in Space by Sam Garten. All right, let's see, we'll get situated here. On Sunday, Otter Keeper took me and Teddy to the museum. The museum is the best place ever. We saw a huge dinosaur skeleton and met Teddy's cousin. We also looked at old paintings made before crayons were invented. In the museum, even boring things become interesting if they are old enough. But our most favorite part was the special room all about outer space. There were lots of fun things to do and buttons to press. I don't know if you guys heard SpaceX was supposed to launch. I think it was canceled today and it's maybe supposed to go out Saturday. Teddy and I got to see a real moon rock. Otter Keeper said it came all the way from the moon and the moon is very far away. The video told us so. That was almost dropped. On our last stop in the museum, our last stop at the museum was a very important one, the gift shop. Unfortunately, Otter Keeper said I couldn't buy everything I needed, so I was forced to make some very difficult decisions. On the way home, Teddy and I were a little sad. We had a new spaceship, but we really need a moon rock, too. The next day, after Otter Keeper left for work, we were still sad. Playing in outer space was no fun with just a spaceship. Teddy suggested going back to the museum to get a moon rock, but no one knew how to get there without Otter Keeper. Giraffe offered to drive, but I don't think he really knows how. I need to think of a clever plan to get my moon rock. This took a long time, but suddenly I had the best idea ever. Teddy and I would get our moon rock from the same place the museum did, the moon. We made a very important list of very important things. It was very important. Really important things to do. One, make important list. Two, make spacesuit. Three, train Teddy. Four, find real space rock. Maybe five, learn how to spell, but he is an otter. Before getting started, we decided to have lunch. Thinking of ideas and writing lists can make you hungry. Lunch is very important too. The first thing on the list was to build our spacesuits. You must not forget to bring a spacesuit if you're going to the moon. Unfortunately, our house has a lot of gravity, and this can make it hard to properly test a spacesuit. Teddy took off his spacesuit. He didn't seem to be taking space travel seriously, so I decided it was time to start his training. Problem solving wasn't his strong point, but he impressed everyone with his performance in the anti-gravity machine, also the dryer. Teddy asked if Giraffe would be coming with us to the moon. I explained that Giraffe, of all people, certainly could not come. Giraffe had a very important job back on Earth, mission control. Now it's time to build our spaceship. This was very important, and I told everyone they had, no, had to help, but I still had to do most of the work myself. Finally, it was time for the launch. The liftoff went very well, but we did have a bumpy moon landing and my spacesuit got a little broken. We didn't have long to find our moon rock, but luckily there were, they were all hiding in the same place. We chose the best moon rock we could find, the biggest one. It was hard to get it back to Earth, but Teddy and I agreed it was worth it. The day got much better now that we had the moon rock to play with, and then Otter Keeper came home. We discovered he really doesn't like moon rocks. In fact, he was quite upset and said the moon rock had to go back where it came from. This is a silly idea. We obviously couldn't get it back to the moon because our spaceship was broken. Otter Keeper said he would discuss what to do with the moon rock at dinner. I kept my spacesuit on the whole time to show I was serious. Finally, Otter Keeper agreed to let us keep the moon rock, but only if we took it outside for a bath. That evening, Otter Keeper added, do not dig up moon rocks to our list of things not to do. Like, Otter, do not jump on the sofa, use the big phone, empty cereal packets for toy. Dig up moon rocks. But he didn't say anything about digging up other things. So tomorrow, Teddy and I have decided to go back to the moon to dig up a dinosaur. The end. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that and have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.